we see time to time. Some souls emerge, play their role in the drama, and they are accepted very clever intellect, divine. Divine in a sense that they give some kind of extraordinary wisdom to other people. But what is really divinity? What is clarity and cleverness? Difference between clean intellect, pure intellect, divine intellect. Clean intellect and clear intellect. What is clean and clear, pure and divine? There are stages. The more we are body conscious as we go through the cycle, the intellect becomes muddy, the intellect becomes dirty. dusty. If something is on your clean cloth, you would say it's a dirty cloth, without any spot, without any influence, it's called clean. So influence of the Self, influence of others, which is, Baba said, paramatta, manmatta. Mat means direction, dictates, ideas. So throughout the cycle, we have been influenced by matter, Influenced by ideologies, influenced by situations and circumstances. And so, the more dirty it became, the more heavy it became. When you collect rubbish, it is heaviness, like a dustbin, for example, in every day's activity, you see, from morning till evening, dustbin is full, and when you lift, lift it, it's very heavy. There's no value in it, but it's very heavy. So we collected the influences which made, decreased our own value. Influences make us heavy and decrease our own values. And eventually we begin to lose the true values of our own selves. We don't even realize. Because the intellect has become dirty, it is not able to see through. And so, now Baba says, just be soul conscious, be soul conscious. Through body consciousness, your intellect became dirty. Through influences, intellect became dirty. And so Baba is cleansing it again and again. So every day, he gives a very powerful shower, knowledge. The more we understand 
the aspects of knowledge. Practicing knowledge making then makes our intellect then not only just clean, but clear. Clarity is that you can see through. It's no confusion in it. There's no doubt in it. It's like that intellect, clean and clear intellect, means faithful intellect, brings faith in ourselves. Then we begin to trust the truth that Baba has given to us. You see through. When it is something is clear, it is just like, then it becomes far-sighted intellect. It's not blocked anymore. It is able to see the past, the present, the future. As Saraswati is praised Goddess of Wisdom, in the same way, Ganesha is praised, God of Wisdom. So what was his basis of becoming wise or destroyer of obstacles? A wise person brings solutions because he has the clarity. is able to bring solution to the problems and when there is not clarity and when there is intellect is not so clear, we are confused, the, the problems increase more and more. And so Ganesha is praise of destroyer of obstacles. To be influenced by the influences or the body consciousness or anything, it means that on one side we think that we are taking virtues, but we are losing virtues. Because as Baba said, we are disconnecting ourselves with Baba, the one who is give us, giving us light. So a divine intellect has the discrimination power. A clear intellect has also clarity, what is right, what is wrong. Pure intellect and divine intellect. Pure and divine. So what is pure? Purity means free from ego. Ego brings impurity. And in this impurity we begin to see the defects of others and we increase, we want the values, but then out of ego we see only our own virtues. In this way, we begin to pick up defects from others, very in a very subtle way. We take the defects of others, thinking we are clever. And in this way, our intellect also becomes dirty. So discrimination, real discrimination is not there. So Saraswati, goddess of wisdom, is is shown riding on a swan. She is riding a swan. <coughs> the power to discriminate between right and wrong. There is the, wrong is also there. It's visible, but she does not. The swan picks up only the pearls. Every situation has some right and wrong 
but there is a clarity to see what is it that I take it and what it I leave behind. So it means, in other words, the intellect to pick up virtues. The intellect means it is discrimination power is there and always pick up good things. It means that when I'm seeing the virtues, I'm giving respect to others also. The moment I begin to see the virtues, naturally love and respect is there. And you are connecting yourself with the truth. So it is the virtue of others is becoming your virtue. And in this way, automatically there is harmony. This disharmony is when we take, we see defects, and when we are seeing defects, the intellect is, with ego, is seeing, I am something very special. This one is wrong. We are rejecting other person also. And in this way, internally, disharmony is created, though maybe not in words, but in feelings, in vibrations. And Mama Saraswati, wisdom, valuing the virtues of others. And so she is shown with sitar, a music, harmony. So it is the pure divine intellect is the one who, who connects the pearls together makes a jewelry, like garland of flowers. It holds the truth. The, so divine intellect, clean intellect, pure intellect has wisdom to connect all goods together, goodness together. Plays the part of a, like, like worship where the rosary is created, so he creates the rosary, divine intellect, Harmony creates a rosary, but with a very sharp, with a very pure con concentration is there to pick up the truth. So they have become like a, there's a difference between a needle and a scissor, pair of scissors. A pair of scissors cuts, divides. A needle unites. Even if it is in a bead, there is some little bit of rubbish, it cleans and with the thread of love unites all the virtues. So this is wisdom is to bring unity. Wisdom is to have humility. Somebody asked Ganesha, Ganesh, what made you wise? And he said, I imbibe, because his Ganesha's pencil is considered as writing the wisdom of God, of Gita. And he said, I just, first thing is that I respect my parents. This is the because his story about bhakti is that he followed, he was, they were asked, Ganesha and Karthik, two brothers, they, um, they were asked to go through the three worlds, to tour on three worlds. And his brother had a vehicle, flying vehicle, and he had mouse. And so certainly mouse moves very slowly, rat moves very slowly, and flying bird moves fast. So Karthik, with enthusiasm, with a lot of zeal, went, flew all over the world, with three worlds, see, because it, they had to come, go through three worlds, and then come to the parents. And Ganesha thought, 
but my parents shiva is the knower of the three aspects of the time he is the master of the three worlds in him is the wisdom of the three worlds so why should not i just go around my mother and father and i have just i have the journey of the three worlds so my means the intellect instead of allowing intellect go everywhere just kept the intellect around the parents the idea is in the book the long story i do not want to go into the story so it means when we follow we have love and faith in baba when we have dedication then automatically we are receiving blessings love and faith means dedication and honesty and so he took around the, the circle of his parents and then when kartik was coming back he saw always the the feet print footprint of mouse he was wondering how could he come he come earlier than me how could mice uh, this mouse went so far and this was the reason that ganesh became because he was first in front before kartik came he was there in front of his parents so he became worthy to be worshiped where is shiva's praise is there ganesha's praise is there and so ganesh is called wisdom of why because his son the bestower of wisdom best destroyer of obstacles so a- any obstacle was of this miss it was his did he did not have in his own ego he had just education of god but he was asked about this what how did you got this qualities and he says internal effort what i did is i just learned the qualities from my pencil he had a pencil to write what does it mean learn from your pencil he says yes i have five qualities in my pencil this is what i have learned which are these five pen qualities in pencil <laughs> and baba is teaching us this its a language is bhakti language is different than gyan language so i just because we we want uh, to imbibe the wisdom and divine qualities of divinity divine intellect and we are children of baba so i just explain how we knowledge these qualities are so he said the first quality a pencil is that pencil outwardly no matter yeah the first quality is that it is surrendered quality so i surrendered myself to parents the quality of surrendering myself a pencil is holded by the writer it is in front or it is back every pencil holder holds the pencil in his hand and puts the pencil in the position the way it is holded and positioned the pencil does not object why are you holding me in this way and so i surrender myself to god <laughs> wherever he wants to put me whatever position he gives me either in his feet or in his heart or in his eyes just i surrender myself to him <laughs> it is surrendering offering myself so he offered himself the second quality of pencil is importance is not what is outside understanding and clarity in the intellect it is not what outside is important what is inside that is important sometime we run after outward deposition outwardly name outwardly fame outwardly uh, praise no pencil can be of any color it can be black it can be blue it can be green it can be golden 
in Rajasthan here you get very nice color studied with the decoration of glass. It's not important what it outside, what attracts from outside. It's important is what is inside. So when I understand inside it is the soul that what I want to make valuable is powerful is me, the living energy which is inside, which is behind this is a skin. Then which place I am, which position I have, what service I have, that does not matter. It's the pencil that writes. It's me, the soul, have the inner internal qualities and they will be used where I am. So I don't have any competition, I don't have any, uh, any jealousy with anyone, I don't have any kind of expectation so that I should be. Whatever I am inside, that would be used and expressed as soon as I have given my life to the one who is using me. So then you, are, you, you will get opportunities. So we, in this way the intellect is very clear about the self, the self-respect. Intellect is very clear about the qualities of the self. So self-awareness, self-respect. The third quality Ganesha said, I learned, is happy to let go of my head. <laughs> Ganesha's old head was chopped off <laughs> and the new head was put on. <laughs> and that is the pencil's quality. <laughs> Realization that the more the problems and difficulties came, not afraid of the tests and challenges. <laughs> Challenges will come, and that is what your reality will come out. So the pencil goes through the sharpener. Its head should go through the sharpener, only then this, this what is called lead, it is called lead, yeah, the, yeah, that comes out to make a design. Then the, the architect can make a building design or the artist can use it or anyone can use this pencil. <laughs> when this pencil has come out and it's gone through the sharpener. And so some name, fame, desire is there, the more the opposition will come, the criticism will come, defamation will come. But what I need to bring out is whatever is inside in me, that will come out. So not to be afraid of, because this is, it has to go out, this outwardly what has covered my reality, that must go out and it comes time, it comes through the problem, it goes throughout the problems. So just like in Bhakti, they, they show Ganesha's head was chopped off and then he was given a new head. The old eyes changed and very subtle eyes became. Small ears went away and fan, big ear came, so that if anything that comes at and disturbing your ear, fan it away, no? <laughs> no, yeah, this eye, the picture of Ganesha's, it is all is a symbol of wisdom. This is why as wise as elephant. As wise as elephant. Intoxicated. Doesn't matter whatever dogs may be barking. But then the, the, the elephant is going with his own grace. And so there's intoxication, inner intoxication. When I am following the truth, 
There's no question of getting upset. When I'm honest, whatever I receive, I give it to the Lord. There is a great joy, there is happiness. So it's a memory is sharp. So all, all our personality is, is known through this part, our vision, how we see, what we see, ears, what we hear, how we think, what we hear, how we think about it, what we speak, what we eat. So cell, these sense organs, sight, sound, speech, taste, smell, touch, these are the sense organs. And so, in order to be sensible, so he let go, I mean, he changed all the senses, the old senses were changed into new. So new vision, soul conscious vision. <coughs> Hearing and enjoying Baba's murli, what Baba said, enjoyment in that. Speaking the truth that Baba spoke. Oh, and then comes the power to merge everything in. So wisdom is that he is able to, the mice has the, the mouse or rat has sharp teeth and can cut the net the, where we are trapped in. And so this was the sharp, the sharp teeth of a mouse can make the way, can cut all the bondages. So wisdom is to be free from bondages, free from influences. So it is important is what is inside. So that's that was the third thing was that learn what is important is not outside, inside. And not be afraid of any difficulties, any problems, any challenges. Fourth thing, yeah, this was fourth? Third, the first was a Surrender, second is the internal, and third is letting surrender, yeah. Happy to let go of this, yeah. And fourth thing he said, yeah, outside, not, it's gone out from my head now. The then the one thing he said that when it is just like I, its ego is gone, it is just my own, that outwardly thing is gone and it is internally. Another thing was, it's a pencil, has this, wherever you put, wherever it is just when you put, it leaves a stop, it puts a point, you leave the point, <laughs> the pencil, it will make a mark. Touch. You put the pencil and come the touch is there. So in the same way, it is just like the light, it, as it comes on the connection with the piece of paper, it will leave the mark. Wherever you go, leave some, some gift of your personality. Give some gift of your personality, of your virtues, of your specialities. And what it is that we give a put, put a point on this. Fifth, I don't remember. I think it's gone out of my head at the moment. <laughs> so but as does the virtues of the qualities that this is a pencil, it's a small thing, pencil. <laughs> and when we learn this, we are able to bring the qualities within our own self. So soul consciousness is the main aspect. Real quality is that I am Baba's child. And when intellect is connected to Baba, 
the energy babas qualities will not only just cleaning my intellect but purifying as well purity means it is complete surrender complete egoless viceless then it is divinity is automatically in life so divinity deities are giver giving 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 divine intellect will connect the souls with the supreme being now at the present deities do not connect but we brahmin souls the more divinity is there on the basis of spirituality divinity comes otherwise when spirituality is not there it is not called divinity because people have many a very clever intellect but not divine intellect and baba is making our intellect pure divine intellect a refined intellect so i have to check again and again in myself that how much spirituality i have spiritual vision spiritual thoughts spiritual activity it means that i give happiness to others i this maintain happiness in myself i'm trying to remind myself the fifth quality of ganesha so i am now the thoughts are you can see i i i don't know what what was the fifth one <laughs> ji yeah sense of sacrifice this is also there but it was yeah right <laughs> yeah it's a good the shorter it become the, the but it's letting go it is also letting go the smaller it is it was something else okay so baba is the one who teaching us what is spirituality human beings cannot teach us spirituality can make us very clever in worldly sense we become very clever intellect and with clever intellect and sharp intellect we give harm to others and we give harm to ourselves a solicitor can make the wrong things right and right thing wrongs a good case which is real honest is defeated and the one who is uh, uh, guilty can get past it is the cleverness of the sharpness of the diva, of the uh, uh, solicitor but divine intellect is not based on falsehood divine intellect is based on truth divine intellect is based on bringing happiness to the self and also giving happiness to others and so when we are spiritual we protect ourselves and we give uh, we help others also divinity means harmony harmony between mind intellect and sanskaras
not only just our thoughts, but the thoughts are also so pure and so clean and so divine that they generate good vibrations. Pure divine intellect, clean, clean divine intellect. So there is not a confusion in stick. When the thoughts are clear, automatically what is happening, the vibrations within our own self are still. It's when it's many, many ways thoughts are there, the intellect becomes influenced by the mind and it does not have the power to discriminate between right and wrong. And so when I am spiritually connected with Baba, then it means that I am controlling my mind, my horse, my mind thoughts. But then when I am really soul conscious, I am not fighting with my minds. I am not thinking that I have to control my, direct my mind somewhere else. It is connected and directed automatically and these qualities then are coming into action. So thoughts, understanding and action are at the same level. Pure thoughts, divine thoughts are there. Clarity is there that this is what I want to do and I perform that action which brings happiness to myself and happiness to others. So I am a pure, divine being. When I am recognizing this, realizing this, actions will be divine automatically. So I would like you to ask some questions. Yeah, that's power to merge, power to take in. This is, this is also Ganesha's wisdom, is that the, the power, because not spread around, because when it is a wisdom, means that all the powers within ourselves. It is just like the virtues are becoming powers that you have to adjust, because a, a wise person would make the ro things which have gone wrong, put it right. And and means to merge in. Merge in does not mean just to keep it and uh, suffer inside, no. Finish, like, like destroy inside. Like the ocean does not keep, does not keep the rubbish for itself, takes in, but does not keep the rubbish for inside. And this is what to merge, big, big stomach means to merge. And so it is just like not only merge but to finish it, destroy it. This is why he's called the, the big, big stomach. But very sharp intellect that is also the vision of the sight, you know, is sharp sighted, very, very tiny. Visions is, the eyesight is not so big, but it is very short. The sight is small, but it is very sharp. So this is what the intellect is clear to see what I need to keep, keep in and what I let go. Sometimes we, we, we want to tol have the tolerance and we take wrong things in ourselves and we bring depression. That is not power to merge. Because we think I have to tolerate or I have to tolerate, I have to keep in and we put wrong thing inside. That is not called power of power to merge. So with the power of discrimination, what I need to take in and what I need to take it out. So this is why it is swan intellect, holy intellect, divine intellect. So a divine intellect, it means every time our vision is seeing only what is given by God. The perfect best qualities in nature, best qualities in others, perfect qualities in when we are coming in connection with each other, it's a divinity. That the means where we are with the seeing in this in this world, being with this body, but not attracted towards the bodily bodily atmosphere, body consciousness, not attracted towards the bag of bones. So it's a divine intellect. In the golden age, we are bodily. We are in the body in the physical form, but vision is. Pure divine vision, me soul conscious vision.
And when it is soul conscious vision, it means all the five qualities are there. Now, divine vision means all the four harmony between mind, intellect, and sanskaras, and also four, five qualities together. It's knowledge, peace, love, purity, and happiness. That is what it is, the power within the soul. These five qualities make us divine beings. Knowledge helps us to discriminate. Silence helps us to go beyond. Detached. Love creates mercy and gives us to forgive. Purity helps us to go beyond, not only go beyond, to forget, erase any influences from us. And happiness brings harmony, lightness in us. So deities have all these qualities. They are healthy, they are wealthy, they are happy, they are pure, they are divine, they are soul conscious. And so now Baba wants to make this system. Because it is the if I any time if I take any impurity, so it, I am making myself stain the 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 diamond it has become is becoming tainted, and I am losing my value. So pure divine intellect, pure it's divine. It means it's valuable. It's like diamond. Many facets of our own personality, godly personality. Divine Personality and Brahmin Personality. All these three are reflecting through us. That's called Divine Life. Is there any experiment in yoga called developing a clear and clean intellect? By yoga. By yoga. Yeah, it is experiment is that when we are reminding ourselves again and again. Yeah that can we experiment this in yoga, this, the, to have this divine intellect. It is experiment, it is, in fact, it is exercise, you know. Experiment is based on the exercise. First it is exercise. The one is ex ex exercising again and again. I am Baba's child. So, for example, this I am Baba's child. A child is a pure and innocent. And I'm learning, and this way every time is the question of learning again. And so it is learning point, it is learning. So I am experimenting in yoga, but I am experimenting in action also. No? When I am experimenting in yoga, it's only at that time I'm taking in from Baba. But real experiment is when I am in connection in others, I am in action. And so this is why it is this practice of soul consciousness. In action, wisdom or intelligence is known. So we don't, we are not becoming clever, we are not, our aim is not just to become clever or intelligent. Because intelligence wants to influence others. Divinity wants to influence, divinity does not influence us, but divinity brings strength to others. When it is cleverness and intelligence, then here I want to be important. Divinity is, gives strength to others. Just like Baba, the bestower of divinity, he gives importance to others. He makes them. So in this way, when I'm in, I'm in action, in soul consciousness, I'm taking. I'm taking power and I'm becoming divine in this way. So it is practice not only in silence, it's not only in sitting, it's in practice in actions also. And this is what it is just like becoming soul conscious. So in this aspect, I am, I the soul, a pure divine intellect, a pure divine intellect. Pure divine. I'm a pure and peaceful soul. For myself, I, I, anytime I meditate, 
this is my natural uh, we ca- i can call it mantra and you can call it mantra you call it pure thought <laughs> because purity brings divinity relationship with baba brings divinity so it is exercise yeah you can when are you saying i can say yes i'm i'm sitting in this consciousness and say i am baba's child baba is making me goddess of wisdom like mama became goddess of wisdom i'm seated on a lotus i'm seated on a swan so in this way it is it an exercise is there it is a practice no? so one can develop by being um, by paying attention or by by practicing this no yeah. so avata is an important it is inside internal qualities are important internal values are important so i for example these five things i i surrender myself to baba whatever is outside is not important inside is important doesn't matter what situation circumstances are they are beneficial for me they are uplifting i let go of everything of the past so because my intellect is not pulled by anything i take these qualities from baba and give these qualities to others merge in good things and let emerge good qualities from everywhere so use can everything means i'm using the knowledge at different time different ways and in this way di- wisdom is always bringing benefit for myself and bringing benefit to others benevolent for myself and benevolent for others so it was it would be not only just in yoga i think it is in action also no? yes any question 5 minutes we have no question full stop hmm? <laughs> so now we are yes Okay miss you miss meditation commentary with the me- as i said uh, and i repeat is can we miss this 5 minutes and then we have silent meditation ah. oh after miss you mean miss meditation commentary another miss with meditation commentary yeah miss i really truly i uh, I just have only one thought and that is a very very seldom I do with meditation comment I will try my vision is focused on you your divine vision perfect vision benevolent vision purifies my intellect as i see myself you are child my pure personality is 
emerges naturally. I am a pure being like you. I am a pure and peaceful soul. In this state of mind, I just enjoy your company, experience your love, There's not even a question of surrendering myself. Just I belong to you, and you belong to me. You are loving and powerful Drishti. Fills me with spiritual power. Makes my vision pure and divine. experience of love makes my mind still and there is silence. I enjoy this deep silence, sweet silence.
this clear relationship. Is man mana bhav. I belong to you. You belong to me. Sweet Baba. Lovely Baba. You fill my heart with your pure love. There are only feelings You make me your instrument to glorify you. You make me a clean mirror through which you shine through your reflection. is seen by all. Your company, your love, sweet Baba, your virtues, make me virtuous. And I see sparkling, pure, divine soul as I see them. your special children. All of us, all of us, are part of the rosary. sparkling beads around your neck. You make us sit on your heart throne. As we are seated on your heart throne, we experience your pure love. Purifying love. 
uplifting love. This is Manmana Bhav. My mind is focused on you. I belong to you. You belong to me. Pure and peaceful soul. Your thoughts, divine vision, 
makes me a divine being of light. I am your child. with a pure and divine intellect. with the pure and divine sanskaras. With pure and divine feelings. a pure and peaceful soul.
Baba. As I experience myself a pure being, in this divine vision of purity, I experience you. the one who gives divine vision. Bestows blessings to be divine. You make me light of your eyes. I experience a real Konur, Prabhunur, light of your eyes. I am your child. A pure and blissful soul. (laughs) 